If you have an Ideogram account and you enjoy creating colouring pages, then I have something that I want to share with you, and that is 50 plus Mandala colouring page prompts, as you can see just here. Now, all of these are over on my public profile here on Ideogram. Now, if you want to come through and check this out, what I'll do is link this down in the description below, and then you can use these prompts however you please. Now, what we have is some designs for Halloween. So right here, we have some skulls. We have a spiderweb mandala as well, along with a pumpkin. Then we have some Christmas designs just here as well, with this little gingerbread man, and these snowflakes as well. And then quite a lot of these are just flower designs, so flower mandalas, because if we take a look at these, we can see that these turn out extremely well. So let's open this one up in a new tab so we can take a quick look. If we take a look at this, this is absolutely flawless. And if we click on see all, we can see what the prompt is just here. Now, like I said, come through and check these out because there's some really nice designs. Now, if we take a look at this one, we can see what this looks like as well. We can take a look at the prompt and to use these prompts is extremely easy because all that we have to do is come over to my public profile, find the mandala that you want to use. Let's simply click on this. Then you can click on the little plus icon to use the prompt. It's going to add it up here. We're going to click generate. And now you've got a completely different coloring page from that prompt, just like that. And now we have a little ghost mandala. So you can see just how easy it is to use any of these prompts. Now let's scroll through these one last time because I quickly want to cover these. Now, as we can see with ideogram and mandalas, it does do a pretty good job, but it does an even better job at flower mandalas. So as we can see just here, these aren't quite mandalas, but they are also patterns. And right here, these rose ones look pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. This one's pretty flawless. And now if we keep on scrolling through these, we can see the rest. I was playing around with animals as well. This lion one, is it a lion? Yes, it is. This lion one turned out extremely well as well. And then there's just lots of different mandalas. I really liked this one as well. This looks pretty nice. Now, if you want to know how I actually created these, these were using one of my GPT prompt generators. Now, I actually have three of these. It's a whole suite of one of my products. So this one is for patterns. So in here, we can actually create mandalas geometrics, stained glass, and mosaic prompts. Now, this is going to work best for mid-journey, but as you can see, they also work extremely well with ideogram. Now, this is one of my prompt generators. I also have a grayscale prompt generator and a line art prompt generator as well. And this is all part of my ultimate color and page prompt generator, which again is a whole suite of GPT prompt generators. So, so far, there's the line art and the grayscale, and now the Mandala GPT as well. I need to update this because I called this patterns instead, because we can create more than just Mandala patterns or prompts for that matter. Now, quick side note, and that is this is the last week, so you have until the 26th of July, which is this Friday, and the price will be increasing from $34.99 all the way to $49.99. Now, if you do want to check this out at all, I will link this down in the description. But if we come back over to here for a second, back over to one of my GPTs, my pattern GPT prompt generator, I can quickly show you how this works. Now, there's actually these four different conversation starters. There's Mandela, Geometric, Stained Glass, and Mosaic. Now, if you click on one of these, you do actually get a prompt. So if we click on Mandela, we now have a Mandela prompt. But best way to use these generators isn't by using the conversation starter. This is okay, but these are mainly here 
just to show you what you can actually create with the pattern generator. But what you obviously want to do is just describe what you want. So we could put single rows, simple mandala. Then if we click enter, we're going to get a fully formatted prompt for a rose mandala, which we can then take over to mid journey or ideogram because like I said, it works in both of these AI text to image softwares. It works best with Midjourney because that's how I created the prompt generator. But if we come back over to Ideogram, just here, and plug this in here, let's take out these parameters as well because we don't need that in Ideogram. Let's click Illustration, let's turn on, and let's just see what we get. Let's put that on public as well, and then let's give this a second. But that's how I created all of these different mandalas just here, by using my prompt generator. Now, this is almost done, so let's just give that a few more seconds. And there we go. So this actually turned out extremely well for the single rose simple mandala. So if we come back over, let's take a look at these. That's the first one. That's the second. That's the third. I quite like this one. And then that's the fourth. So as you can see, the GPT, the generator, does a pretty good job at creating prompts for ideogram. Now, let's come back over to here for a second. Or should I say over to here? Because again, I'm going to link my public profile down in the description, then all you have to do is come through, check out these prompts, you can adjust, use them how you want to make your own mandalas. Now, if you scroll through all of my public profile, you can see that we also have lots of different coloring pages for lots of different things that you can also use. You can use the prompts, you can edit them, adjust them, and use however you want. But if we take a look, we have like lots of animals, animals eating cakes, these patterns with inside the animals as well, and just lots of great prompts that you can use for creating your coloring books. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.